Oh, shit. All right, it's Sunday, yo. I don't normally do Sundays, but, you know, it's a big day for us Italians. You know, a lot of wine, a lot of cheese, a lot of, a lot of pasta. But, yo, my man Yuli Diaz is coming on. We got to talk about it because some something's going on. There's a couple of rumors going around about my man Yuli. So I want to get it from him. So let's do this. I'm going to get my man Yuli in right now. Let's talk about it. Yuli. My boy Joe, what's up, baby? Yo, <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back, man. Good to see you. I see a new haircut, bro. Yeah, Yo, bro, I got a new cut. I'm fi- I'm hiding from Father Time. I'm trying to chat. I'm trying to beat this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, man, you're doing a great job in the ring of, of fighting Father Time, my friend. So Thank you, much man. respect to you, my brother. So Thank you. I see, you know, it's been uh it's been a minute since we've seen you in the band knuckle ring, but you've been very active, MMA, boxing, staying active, staying ready, man. It seems like that's that's your game always. Absolutely, Joe. Yeah, thank you again for the opportunity, man. And uh, yeah, I love to stay active since the beginning of my career. You guys, everybody that knows or follows me knows that I started my career late in life. And uh, my window of opportunity is small and it's closing on a daily basis. So I try to take uh, as much advantage of, of any situation in a good way that I can. Absolutely, man. And you, you've been doing it with BKFC specifically. You know, that's a, a big platform big promotion and you've taken full advantage of that um but i'm i'm glad we're going to talk today because there's been a lot of stuff going around lately probably the last week you know uh bkfc put out a post a few days ago they said yo mike perry's returning june 24th and any day now they're going to announce his opponent uh for that card and a couple little birds been chirping around my way up in the palm beach county area and i've been hearing that you specifically are this rumored opponent, so I wanted to get it from the horse's mouth. What's going on? Uh, man, you know, I've been hearing that for a while now. Um, I so I was supposed to fight Mike Perry before uh Julian Lane fought him, but then they 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 you know they got into their thing and uh, you know, BKFC ran, ran with that and made a big fight out of that. Um, and now, uh, like you said, I've been hearing the same birds kind of chirping in my ear. I heard me and Mike are, are, are supposed to be fighting June 24th. Uh, we're a big draw for Fort Lauderdale for the for the for the casino, which will be huge for the Hard Rock Casino. Um, and I look forward to fighting Mike, man. I'm a I'm a fan of I'm a, I'm a fan of Mike's. Uh, I'm a fan of him as a fighter, as a father, and as a man. I think he's a he's an all around stand up dude with me. You know, I know he has uh, uh, his his personal issues with another BKFC fighter with, with my boy Francisco Richie. He's my boy too. You know, and uh, I'm sure they'll they'll get to settle that at, at their time. But uh, I think June 24th is, is me and Mike's day, you know, and, and I think it's going to be a hell of a fight. Uh, BKFC knows that, that we're both dogs. There's no, there's no quit in either one of us. So it's going to be a hell of a war, man, and I look forward to it. Yeah, absolutely, man. And, I'm, you know, I'm glad you brought up Francesco's name because, yeah, we, you know, we saw they had some back and forth. You know, there was some personal issues going on. So these guys got a, got a beef as well. Uh, Ricky, you know, good buddy of mine as well. I, I respect that guy. Uh, he's a warrior too. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, and it sounds like you know from what I've been hearing. Yeah, man, this is uh, this is uh, going to be the fight that they're looking to make happen. So, uh, have you heard anything directly from BKFC about this fight? I haven't heard anything directly from BKFC. I'm waiting for them to drop the the, the announcement. Hopefully this week, you know. Um, and yeah, and talking about Francisco Richie, he's my guy. You know, um, good guy too. I know they have their personal issue. Uh, so once I guess that gets resolved, then maybe they can they can settle it in in the ring. But uh, as for me and Mike, man, um, he's my guy too, man. I got you know, there's no there's no personal issue with Mike. I just I, it's another day on the job, and I look forward to to fighting a great fighter, a guy with a name behind him, and uh, something that'll help me in my career. One hundred percent. And then you know you had your your shot against Tiago, the middleweight title. You know this is a big fight. You know this big KFC could potentially have. You know they got they got a lot of decisions to make, but obviously this would be a fight that could propel you right back into that uh, title picture. Absolutely, man. And honestly, uh, Joe, at this stage in life and where we're at um, in BKFC, every fight is tough, every fight is hard. Uh, you know, it's an honor to be ranked number one in the world at the middleweight division. Um, I got some great guys around me from Tiago, amazing. Um, uh, you know, uh, from Tiago being an amazing champ uh, to to Mike the Mar- Mike the Marine Richmond, uh, he's a badass himself, um, and everybody else on, on that list, man, is, is you know heavy hitters. So 
yeah, there's definitely no easy fights for me in the future, but I look forward to it, man. This is what we do for a living. Uh, I can't wait to, to, to fight for, be able to fight for that title again. And um, I look forward to this, man. It's, it's going to be an amazing show, June 24th. Fireworks at the guitar, man. You guys come check it out. Ooh, yeah, that Hard Rock is always putting together fire shows. And, you you know, you've been showing out, uh, you know, at, hard, at the Hard Rock in Hollywood as well. So, you know, to have this this fight potentially happen would be a blockbuster situation of BKFC. This get, they will pack the house. Um, has, uh, I guess, uh, anybody from the management team or anybody been in contact with you about getting this potentially set up, whatever you could give me, you know, I've been hearing the same little birds chirping that you've been hearing, man, you know, yeah. uh, but they've been chirping for a while. And as, as, as anybody knows with BKFC, um, you know, you might hear something one day and the next day it's something totally different. Uh, I just, you know, I, I just stay ready, brother. I stay in the gym. I, I stay working out. I stay getting ready for any opponent. Uh, once they drop the name, whoever it is, we're ready for them. We're ready to take fights at, at, at you know, at a moment's notice. And, and again, man, look, I look forward to June 24th. I know I'll be fighting on the card with my, with my brother, Baboon, also. He's a, he's, he's, he, for me, is the best pound for pound on BKFC. He's a, he's a bad mofo, man. Four, four, four or five-time bare knuckle champ. About to get about to be the, the first two division champion. So I, I look forward to that night, man. June 24th is coming up quick. It's about four and a half weeks away now. Uh everybody knows anybody that follows me, whether you like me or you don't like me, you know I I, I packed the house. So I'm looking forward to packing the house on June 24th. And uh and like I said, if if it ends up being like it's supposed to be me versus Mike Perry, everybody and their moms are coming out to watch that fight. Guaranteed. Hey, let's let's talk about it too. If this, you know everything comes to fruition, and it's going to be you and Mike Perry in the ring, what's your thoughts on that fight going down? How would you see that fight ending up? Uh, well, again, everybody that knows either one of us knows that we're dogs. That fight will not go the distance, guaranteed. Uh, one of us is, you know, one of us, one of us is going down in that fight, um, and. You know, like anybody else will say, it's not going to be me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but but you guys, stay tuned. And uh, and like I tell everybody, don't blink, baby. These fights don't are blink. fast. These fights are rough. Don't blink. These fights are fast, man. And and, and I and I come out the gate fast. Everybody knows that. And I uh, and I'm here for war, man. I'm ready to I'm ready to do it. Well. We're going to put it out there, man. We're going to see what happens. Hopefully soon we're going to get the news. We're going to see who Perry's opponent is. If it's you, Yuli, we know that's going to be a banger of a fight. So let's stay tuned, everybody. Let's, we're going to find out very soon, I'm sure, uh, what this is going to be. Absolutely. Everybody stay tuned. Once the announcement drops, uh, God willing, is this week. I'm back on the mic with, with Joe Miggs, letting everybody know what time it is. Uh, I'm, if, it, if it is Mike Perry, Mike, you know, you're my boy. I'm looking forward to this. It'll be great to do business with you. Or whoever it is in line, I mean, it's got to be one of the guys in the top five, you know what I mean? And it's got to be a, a fight that makes sense. And the one that makes sense the most is that one right now. So uh, let's see what happens. And uh, and thank you, Joe, man. I appreciate your time, and I appreciate you put, giving me the platform, brother. Anytime, Yuli, you know. No, but respect to you, my brother. Don't blink. We're going to be in touch soon, baby. Absolutely. Don't blink, fellas. Thank you, man. You got it, my brother. Enjoy your day. Later. Thank Peace. you, brother. You too. Anytime. Yo. So there you have it, my guy Yuli. Listen, it could it could happen at any minute. So like my man says, don't blink. So we're gonna see what happens. The rumor is it's Mike Perry and Yuli Diaz for this card coming up on June twenty fourth. We're gonna find out officially from BKFC who's Mike Perry Mike Perry's opponent's gonna be. So stay tuned, guys. It's Sunday. This is a quickie today. We just wanted to get the word out. So uh, enjoy your day, whatever you're doing. Sunday fun day, champagne with the ladies. You know. For me, it's a little pasta, a little ziti, a little lasagna, you know, just a little snack. That's about it. So God bless you all. Have a great day. Peace.